it's audition season. Yeah, if those two words have made you break out into a cold, awkward sweat, then this video is for you. My name is Hilary Klein Renzi and my voice students have sung on the biggest stages and been accepted to the top music and theater schools in the country. And today we are going to talk about auditions. I am literally going to tell you what I tell every single one of my students, how to get through these auditions and not only survive them, but thrive, but thrive. This stack, this three by five card stack is literally all the students that I have doing auditions coming up. Each student gets a card and we are filling them out. I swear there's multiple every day. Yeah, whether it is the National Association of Teachers of Singing, chapter competition coming up in the fall, whether it's college auditions, whether it's role auditions, like it's a card, a card, a card, a card, a card all the time. Cause this is how often we work on this. I, as a child actor in Los Angeles, probably did a hundred auditions of a year easily. As an opera singer, this season was like 20 auditions every two weeks, right? Like we, we know how to do auditions. We know what works and we know what, what doesn't. And so today I'm literally going to tell you my best recommendation for auditions. Now, I know that auditions are incredibly stressful. I get that, I get that. You're thinking, oh my gosh, I have to get into college. I wanna major in musical theater. I have to get into XYZ University. So you're stressed, right? You're freaking out about it, understandable. They're, like, this is your future, right? Okay, first of all, let me help. Okay, this is not your problem to solve. I haven't even gotten to the recommendations yet, but let me just shift this idea for you. This is not your problem to solve. I know you're thinking, I have to get into college. No, no, no. The college is the one that has to fill the spots. They're the ones who have to decide who's going to go into that program or not. That's a lot of pressure on them. I know you're like, but it's more pressure on me. But think about it from their perspective just for a little bit, just for a bit. Let's say that you're a director and you have a musical that you're putting on. You've already got the posters and everything. Now you have to cast it. Well, that could be a problem. What if you don't have the right people? What if you cannot find someone to do that, that part, right? That's their problem. Your job as a singer or performer, actor, however, is to present a possible solution. Whether they take it or not is up to them. It is not up to you. Your job is just to present who you are, to obviously prepare leading up to it, and then just do your best. Show them what you got. And maybe they go, yes, that is the solution that I pick. Or maybe they go, no, that is not the solution that I pick. And that's fine because there are, there's as many solutions as there are people auditioning. You're all just offering your version of a solution. Like, okay, well, I know how I could fill that gap for you. I could do this, I could be this, I could show you I got this skill. And then they'll take you or not. But again, not your problem. Okay, so then the question is, how do you go and present your, your best self without getting all wrapped up? Okay, here is my hot tip for doing this, okay? I always tell my students, every single one of them, the entire stack of them, that your job is not to get the part, your job is not to get into college, your job is to come up with three, three very specific goals that you have for every song, monologue, dance, whatever, that you have to do. Just three, not five. You could do two if you're like, yeah, I got it just with two, but three is a really solid number. So let's say that I'm singing my favorite things from Sound of Music, I'm just pulling something out, okay? So goal number one, I'm going to remember all the words because there's a lot of words in my favorite things, okay? Goal number one. Goal number two, I've added a high note in the end and I know that if I take a really deep breath before that high note, then my high note is so much stronger and feels a lot more stable and I can do really nice things with it. So I'm going to take a really deep breath before the high note. And then third goal, I always say, get something into like the communication side of it, like the storytelling side of it. So my third goal is going to be, 
I'm going to completely abandon myself into the joy that Maria is feeling thinking about all of her favorite things and how wonderful they are to the point where I can't even, if the entire building fell over, I wouldn't even notice. So three very specific goals, right? The words, deep breath before the high note and telling the story from Maria's standpoint. Do you notice that none of those goals have anything to do with anyone else? which means they are completely achievable. If you keep your eye on those goals, you could totally achieve that today. And you know what happens? When you remember all of your words, what do you do? Well, you increase your chances of getting into that college. If you take a deep breath before the high note and nail the high note, what do you do? You increase your chances of getting into that college because, well, oh my gosh, that high note was amazing. If you completely abandon yourself into the character, then you take people with you on a journey because you're on the journey. And then the whole act, the whole panel is like, oh my gosh, I've never even noticed that. Wow, I've never heard, I've never seen Maria like that. I've never felt Maria like that. And what do they wanna do? My goodness, yes, they want you in their college and they're gonna throw money at you to boot, right? So you are increasing your chances. I know like the big umbrella goal is to get into school, but you cannot make your success dependent upon whether they accept you or not. Because how talented you are has nothing to do with whether they accept you or not. Because again, it's just about whether they've decided to pick your solution to their problem. But here's what's really great about it. You leave your audition and you're like, I got all three of my goals done. I nailed that high note. My gosh, that high note. This is like the best high note I ever did. And I don't even know what happened. I was so into being Maria that I really didn't notice. Did somebody leave? Oh, they left. I didn't even notice. Huh, right? I remembered all of my words. You feel great about that audition because there's nothing worse than leaving an audition being like, wow, that was horrible. As soon as I saw them, start writing, I knew they weren't really liking me. And then I thought, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get into school. Maybe I'll never get into any school. And then what if I don't get into school for anything, even any other major, and then I will be a complete failure. I'm gonna have to go home and decide how I'm going to pick a different major and a different, I mean, like it's just spirals. And then what are you doing? You're not in the moment. You're certainly not giving your best performance. You're not showing them all that you have. Right? So then you leave that audition and you're like, ugh, that was horrible. And then when you don't get in, what do you think? You think, wow, if I'd only nailed that audition, I wonder whether I would have gotten in. But how are you going to nail it? With three very specific things. And you notice that none of them were, had anything to do with them and none of them were nailing the audition. Not a single time did I say, my goal is to really nail this audition three very specific things. And when you get done, then you will know that you have succeeded because you've got a lot of these auditions coming up. There's a lot. I mean, my students are easily doing 20 college auditions. 20, that's a lot of times that you're gonna sing those 32 and 64 bar, not 32, 32 and 16 bar cuts. Gosh, I'd love to do 64 bars. Who does a full song anymore? Not me, no I'm kidding. Um, I'd love to do that, but like the fact is you got no time. You have to go in and do your best and then leave and feel like you had some control over what happened. So this is how you do it. Please let me know in the comments whether this was helpful or not. I have been loving how many comments everybody has been giving of the previous videos and then you're all giving me ideas for more videos, which is great. So keep it coming, tag and share if you'd like. It was lovely chatting with you. Break a leg in your audition. I cannot wait to hear about it. I know you're going to do fantastic. I haven't even met you and I know you're going to do great. Go out and show them how extraordinary you are. Happy singing and I'll see you at the next video.